visited the Harley dealer today in Huntington Beach. Uh, this is the uh, Orange County, California location. So I went there to test ride the 117 motor and the only bike they had it in was the Lowrider S, which I consider the modern day Dyna. A lot of guys are gonna not be okay with that because it's a soft tail, but, but it's the same idea as the idea of the Dyna. To put a big ass motor in a light bike, in a light bike, you know, that's meant for city riding, to be nimble and fast. I don't care about the suspension difference. That's, I can already hear it, some guy screaming, it's not a Dyna, it's a soft tail. Light bike with a huge motor. Yeah. So they don't have a low rider ST yet. They said they're gonna get STs the ST is the new model with the fairing in the backs, the Lowrider ST. They're going to get those in a few months. But they do have the S, uh, the Lowrider S, which has the 117 motor. So this is basically, like I said, this is what the Dyna became. You know, so this is a really light bike. It is a soft tail with a really powerful motor. Uh, these type of motors were, were only installed in baggers you know, before you, you never had a 117 and it was such a small, light bike. And they're asking only 25,000 for this. So the bike itself is 19,000 and there's a dealer markup of 5,500. So it comes out to 25,000. Yeah, that is really low it's crazy he told me to be very careful on it because it's, it's very fast so it's, it's uncomparable to the 107 Now, while I'm out there riding the um, the Lowrider S, here's uh, some shots of the experience that you get at a Harley dealer. You just don't get something like that at other dealerships. It's just a nice, uh, nice experience overall. There you see a turbo Harley and a bagger trying to do a wheelie. I just rode this 2022 Lowrider S. Uh, the, you know, the, the new model with the 117 motor. Uh, fun bike, very powerful. It feels like it wants to uh, do a wheelie every time you get on the gas. It feels like it's gonna flip over. <clears throat> you know, I, I tried to sit on a uh, 2020 Dyna at a different dealer and I didn't even take it for a test ride because it wasn't comfortable and it, it comes I come to find out that they just didn't have the shift lever adjusted properly at the other place I couldn't even it was too high up but here it, it, it's good and you know I took this for a ride uh, the, the, the soft tail on this type of bike works pretty well because I rode the soft tail touring model the heritage. I didn't like how that rode compared to the uh, Road King. Uh, I didn't like that soft tail model. But this this uh, city type of bike, this works pretty good. Um, I like how this soft tail handles, how it rides. It doesn't. Uh, it's not too too rough. Or it's not too soft. It's really uh, really set up pretty good. So that's what I wanted to say. But yeah, this is the 117. Powerful bike. It, uh, I wouldn't ride it for longer than an hour, probably. You know, I, after that, I'd want to get on something more comfortable. But uh, that hour, you're going to be having a lot of fun. 